Hi guys, it's Charlie here at Sterling Power. This video is a troubleshooting video regarding the ProCharge Ultra, in particular the latest ProCharge Ultra from Sterling, which is the one with the red end cap to it. Uh, the issue that the customers seem to be having is this zero volt, zero current display on the screen. Uh, and there are three separate uh, solutions to the issue, all that can be done by the user um, and it would just be a nice uh, two minute video going through the procedure to try and remedy the situation. So it's in particular the white and the red ProCharge Ultra, not the white and the grey one that preceded it. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, I have here then the red end capped ProCharge Ultra and I've taken the red end cap off to reveal the terminals underneath. Here's the AC side, that's the DC side. Um, and what I'm going to do now is apply shore power AC to it. Now in the UK, obviously we operate with 230 volts AC, um, but this charger will handle anything down to about 80 volts AC, so it'll work in the States as well. Uh, ensure you've got a, an independent voltmeter uh, to, to do measurements, essentially. That's very important to get an independent voltmeter. Okay, I'm just about to apply 230 volts to it now. And you'll hear the fan start up you'll see the lights all come on uh, and you'll see BC mode particularly if it's just straight out of the box it will say BC mode written on the display now a common fault a lot of customers call us with is that they're having this zero volt zero amps issue uh, and this video is about uh, ways to remedy that situation in order for it to start charging the first thing to always check turn your voltmeter to DC so you can measure the voltage of the DC across the terminals of the battery charger. Put the positive probe of the voltmeter on the, what the, the positive that's connected to the battery. Here's positive three, for example, and then to the negative. And as you can read on the voltmeter, we're getting approximately zero volts. It's 0 0.13, but for lack of a better term, at zero volts. So the display is actually reading accurately, even though it looks like we have something wired up to the batteries here. So what we need to do to ensure that we do have battery voltage across these terminals, because the charger won't fire up without battery voltage across these terminals, is to do what we call a continuity test. So follow these wires all the way back to your battery, and I will ensure that they have good contact with the battery. So, oh, as you can see here, this cable has became loose. So what I want to do is ensure that we have good, solid contact there. Okay, so let's go back to the charger again. I've, I've kept them loose just for demonstration purposes. You need to ensure that they're always very tight. Okay, so now what's the voltage across these terminals? We're looking at 14.66, because what's happened is by connecting the negative up and ensuring you've got good connections along the way is you've provided 12 volts to this battery charger and it's picked up on those 12 volts and it's fired up and started to produce 14.6 volts. So that's the first thing to check, do a continuity test. You may have fuses along this line, along the positive line. Uh, the fuses may have blown, there may be uh, problems with the contacts, the, the sort of the eye terminals or the ring, ring terminals on these cables may have become loose. Check that they're all nice and firm. Uh, there may be a switch that's open circuited, could be lots of things, but you need to ensure that you're getting battery voltage across the positive and negative terminals of the ProCharge Ultra in order for it to work. So that's the first thing, do a continuity test. Now, the second thing, let's say for example you do have 12 volts across the, uh, the, the positive and negative terminal of the charger, and you're still getting 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0. If you're still getting that and you check that you've got 12 volts across there, so let me do that test now. Here's a voltmeter. Let's zoom over to the voltmeter on the uh, Fluke. And we're getting 12.86 volts across the battery charger terminals, but we're getting 0 volts and 0 amps coming out of the charger. So you might be like, well, I've done that first test. What can we try now? Well. Sometimes by accident, uh, people when fiddling with buttons, they, they turn the charger off. 
So just ensure the charge is turned on and you can do that by pressing the setup enter button, this yellow button here, along with the up arrow simultaneously, hold them down for five seconds or so and then let go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, let go. And then that should fire up and you're getting 14.6 volts. Let's just check what voltage we're getting here. As you can see, we are getting 14.6 on the output and we're getting two amps of current into that battery. Battery's obviously fairly full. Okay, so that's the second thing to try. Okay guys, well this is going to be the third test to try and it essentially involves firing the charger up and providing a live voltage output to it rather than relying on the 12 volt battery in order to kick the charger on. So as you can see, I've removed the negative cable, thrown it back here, so the voltage across here will be zero. And what I'll do is I'll fire it up, providing mains now, so 230 volts going on into it. And you'll see here, it says BC, battery charger. Change it up one to PS or P5, but it is supposed to be PS for power supply. Then press enter. So you push the up arrow once, then press enter. Charger restarts, the fans make all sorts of noises, the LEDs come on. Now what happens is when the charger fires up, you should have a live voltage on the output. It's saying 14.6 there. Let's confirm it. So we've got, I don't know if you can read that, 14.9 there. We've got 14.9 there and we've got 14.9 there on each of the outputs. Don't forget, don't be put off by that voltage. That can be customized on this charger. It can be reduced. It just so happens to be at that particular voltage. So yeah, they're the three major things to try. Firstly, don't forget a continuity test between the charger and the batteries. Do go along the lines of the negative and positive to the battery to ensure there's no breaks in the cable, no fuses have gone. Uh, no diodes that have gone, no uh, switches that have been open circuited and not closed properly. So check all those things. Uh, secondly, check that the charger has been turned um, on uh, by doing the enter setup button and up for five seconds and let go. And then the third thing, failing all that, you can just force the charger into a power supply, power pack mode by providing a live voltage across those terminals and that should boost some life into it. Okay. All right, thank you very much.